This video is going to show you how to put the variables from projectile motion into a kinematics table of givens. So again, with this is our practice problem that we did in the previous videos. Um, we're starting to look at the initial velocity or the initial conditions. The bicycle is traveling at 20 meters per second when it takes off the building, so it maintains that speed up the ramp. And the ramp is at 30 degree angle with the horizontal, so the bicycle will also leave at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. So from the previous video, we had established this, that it's going at an angle originally, and so we broke that up into horizontal and vertical components. This will give us a nice, easy way to look at this problem. So vertically, I have 20 meters per second sine 30, and horizontally, the initial speed is 20 meters per second cosine 30. Okay, now let's look at where to put these in our table of givens. So this is the table. This is the thing you need to memorize for my class. This is going to help us to organize our thoughts, and it's also going to help you when you're working with other people to kind of see, you know, working together, who's got what, where the missing variables are. To begin with, there are all the kinematics variables you got to know. VO, X, T, V, A. A lot of my students tell me it's easy to remember this as Vox, T, V, A. V, O, X, T, V, A. So you got to know all those variables in your table of givens. Next, we divide it up into horizontal and vertical givens. Remember, these are vectors. And in the previous video, we took a, a diagonal initial velocity and broke it up into a horizontal and vertical piece. So I can refer to it vertically as VYO, Y, VY, and AY. So every variable that's going up and down, like in the previous problem, the previous video, we had that initial velocity that's going up and down can go in here. As long as it has a direction that goes up and down, it can go in this column. Now horizontally, I have kind of the same idea. So horizontally, every variable that goes back and forth will go in this horizontal column. In other words, VXO and X, VXO, X direction, O is the initial velocity, would go in this column. X is the horizontal distance. And then if I look down this column, I can see that I have time next. Well, time is unique. It's a scalar, which means it doesn't have direction. So because it doesn't have direction, whatever value I put in the horizontal column, I can put the same value in the vertical column because there's no direction. So I can just copy it. So if I find time with vertical givens, I put a value in there, then I can put it in the horizontal column as well. So time goes both places. It's great. It's like a two for one. Find it once, write it down twice as a given. Bottom two variables in the horizontal column. The final ver horizontal velocity and the final horizontal acceleration. Well, the assumption that we're having in our problems is that there's no net force acting on an object horizontally. There is vertically, that's only gravity. So there's no air resistance or anything else accelerating it horizontally. That is to the left and to the right. If there's no acceleration, there's no change in speed. So that fact that there's no change in speed is why the initial horizontal velocity is the same as the final horizontal velocity. And that's going to be true for all of our problems. So horizontally, the final velocity is always going to be the same as the initial velocity for our problems. And for our problems horizontally, the horizontal acceleration is always going to be zero. So you don't have to worry about that. Now with our table of givens, we have the bicycle going off the, the uh, top of the building. It's going to land 23 meters below. Previous video, we'd established this triangle for the initial velocity, and we know the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. For our table, what we're going to do is take our values and plug them in. So at the bottom, you can see I already have two values. That's always going to be filled in, easy to do. Acceleration is always going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. It's the acceleration of gravity for us. If we go to a different planet with a different acceleration, I would have to change that number, but it's always going to be there going downwards. And horizontally, I know that it, that's always going to be zero. That's just a given for every problem that we're doing in this class. So vertically, if I look at my initial velocity starting at the top of the column, I know from my previous video in the triangle that I had, that I had 20 meters per second sine 30 is going up and down the triangle. In fact, it was going upwards, so I'll make it positive value. So I'm going to follow a simple rule. If it goes down, make it negative. If it goes up, make it positive. If it goes to the right, make it positive. Left, make it negative. Kind of like math class. Horizontally, it's 20 meters per second cosine 30. Going to the right, I'll make it positive. And my displacement, x, is going to be 23 meters, and it's going down. So I'm going to make that negative. It's following my rule. If it goes down, negative. If it goes up, positive. So I'm pretty much set at this point with all the variables that I have. I have to find the others somehow using this table. And that's what the next video is going to talk about, is how to use kinematics and this table in order to answer the questions.